today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a table of contents in powerpoint and this is how the slide works when i click it will show you the first table of content you can add your title and the detailed text here and i have added a shadow effect uh, with the metallic look and then you can add the slide number here and when i click it will show me the second option with a different color and then you can add the slide number here then this is the third slide fourth slide for the table of content then this is the fifth table of content and then the sixth option and if you don't want to use the animation i have created one more slide you can see here this is without animation and i have given the same color as of the background so whichever way you like you can just use this particular slide so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangles select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rectangle depending on your requirement maybe this much size shape outline you make it white currently it is not visible and right mouse click go to format shape under fill select the gradient fill by default you have got four stops delete two stops you can see here and then choose any color of your choice so for the first stop i am going to choose some light color maybe the teal color here and the other side i am going to select some dark color and if you want you can change the direction also whichever way you want select the shape and then you can go scroll it down go to the line and you can increase the width maybe i can increase to two point uh, so the width is not sorry the line is not visible because of the white background so i'm just going to add a, a shadow effect of this so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it you can see here and go to format shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select a black color only solid fill and make it a black color increase the transparency level then go to the effects soft edges increase the size we can see here and then bring it here tilt a little bit something like this you can see here and then send this to back so you can see here one shadow effect has been added now go to insert shapes select one more uh, rounded corner rectangle draw it maybe this much size you can see here let me just reduce it and make sure that it is properly aligned shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the gradient fill now the gradient fill i'm going to add five or six stops so first stop i'm going to select and make it a black color and the direction i'm going to select this one and here also i'm going to select the black color then i'm going to add one stop at the left and i'm going to select a light you can see here gray color and here also i'm going to select the same light gray color and here if you want you can just select the white color so you can see here it got a look of a metal and then you can just if you want more black you can increase the black if you are more white you can increase the white so you can do a lot of things with these gradient stops so once this is done you can go and insert the text go to insert text box your title you can see here you can add your title make it white make it bold and i'm going to use the font which is century gothic or any other font which you want you can just take it and then you can add some detailed text here you can see here you can just add some detailed text reduce the font size make it white the next thing i want to cut this part the top part and i want to add the slide number if you are using the latest version of powerpoint then you have got the you can go to format you can see the merge shapes will be there 
if you don't have the merge shape uh, then simply you can add you the slide number here or if you have the merge shape then select this you can see here duplicate it by pressing ctrl d go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape at the corner you can see here only at the corner then i'm going to select the rectangle hold the shift key select the oval shape go to merge shape you can see here just click on intersect and you can give one color maybe a gray color something like this and you can give a shadow effect go to inner and you can give this shadow effect and just put it here you can see here it looks something like this and then go to insert text box and i'm going to just type one you can see here and any good font maybe the hand of sean make it white center align and increase the size you can see here something like this you can do it now once this is done you can just select all press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it just add it at the bottom and then select this color and you can change the color of your choice maybe i'm going to give some a fluorescent color with the dark green color so you can see here let me just green so you can do a lot of things and this will be your slide number two and then control d this will be your slide number three and then make sure that it is properly aligned go to format align left press ctrl d to duplicate and add it to the right side also so this will be your slide number four five and six and just change the color according to the requirements that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye